tell you how we are in life and things like that. If there's anything involved in law enforcement, where people are gathering to say they they, they fought, then I'm going to be there. Because I know that without law enforcement, our wonderful state, if we did not have the best law enforcement, Congressman Gabby, and the Congressman Wilson in the United States, we wouldn't have the most prosperous growing state in the United States. We we got a, we got a lot of great things going for us. One reason is because we're like a family. I imagine that a lot of people in here that are, are related in one way or another. You know, Lindsey Graham used to make the joke. He, he said when he was a young lawyer up in Oconee County out in the woods up there, he said he'd have a young lawyer, he'd have people coming in and asking different questions. They're playing straightforward questions. And one of them they would ask, they said, well, lawyer Graham, if we married in South Carolina and divorced in Georgia, are we still cousins? <laughs> well, we all, we're like the family. Where's General Beagle? General Beagle right there. Where's he, where's he from? In the Reef, South Carolina. Ain't that right? Now that there is a stand up, General. Take a look, y'all. Listen to there, Black Bill and Henry. What you told him say? <laughs> Largest training base of the Army in the United States thing ever. Right. How about it? We got a lot of great people here tonight. I, I can't name them all. I do want to name some. Where's Chief Holbrook? Chief, stand up. Let's look at this. Chief of Police of Columbia. <laughs> Doing a great job, and I know the sheriff is here somewhere. Sheriff Lee Unlock, where is he? Stand up. He's living weight somewhere, doing that strong man stuff he does. Give him a hand, wherever he is. <laughs> we all like a family, it makes us different. I have it, I'll be, I'll be brief. I'll be brief. I remember the, you heard the famous actress Elizabeth Taylor supposedly said to her sixth husband, I won't keep you long. <laughs> well, that's me. I won't keep you long tonight. But I gotta say, it's just like the family, it's like church. And you heard the cute little story about the fellow who was at the big church. And then after the sermon, he was walking in a big church. Three, four doors going out, and he was walking out helping an elderly woman on the way out. He said, man, I got to say, this is just about the worst sermon I think I ever heard. She said, well, son, you don't know who I am, do you? She said, no, I don't. So said, well, I'm the preacher's mom. And said, hmm, you don't know who I am, do you? She said, no, I don't. He said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, we pray, we say ma'am, we do all those things, because this is South Carolina. And, and seriously, I have spoken to people today from Germany. We spoke last week with people from Korea, speak with people from Japan, Sweden, all over Europe, and they all want to come and invest hundreds of millions or billions of dollars in South Carolina. Why is that? Why is that? Of all the places, why is that? Well, I ask, is it the great research universities? They like that. Is it the mountains, the oceans, the rivers, the marsh? Because, by the way, if you haven't flown over and looked at this state, particularly the low country, you haven't seen that lately, you, you're missing something. It's a treasure. Is it that? Is it a great technical college system? Is, is it the great port, which is going to be the deepest on the Atlantic Center? The two inland ports, north of State Scott. What is it that brings them here? And they say the same thing in different languages every time. They say, we come to South Carolina to risk the fortune of the future of this company and everybody involved for three reasons. The people, the people, the people. That's what they say. They're talking about everybody in this room. They're talking about people who stand up. They say when the people of South Carolina give you their word, they'll keep it. They'll work. They're smart. They're industrious. They persevere. They have faith. They look at our military tradition. Mark Clark, four stand, four, youngest four-star general in the history of the country. Mark Clark, after World War II, said, there's more patriotism per square inch in South Carolina than any place in the world. You add that to our religious tradition, our tradition of faith. You put us living here in paradise that all the explorers were going back to Europe and 
Spain and England and France and telling the sovereigns that this place that we today call South Carolina is the richest, most lush, most promising place in the new world. You put all that together and you get the kind of people that wear that blue uniform and stand on that line. We could not do the things we're doing in South Carolina if we did not have the best law enforcement community in the whole country. And we do. A lot of us, we get up in the morning and we put on lipstick or we put on a tie or we put on a coat or something and we go to work and we're facing the hardships. Well, there are others among us here tonight and others all over this state to get up in the morning and put on a bulletproof vest. And Sheriff Lott and I were just a few weeks ago, we were out, Chief, where we were giving out the second bulletproof vest that will withstand the bullet from a rifle, whereas the others will only withstand the bullet of a pistol. Now imagine that every day you get up and you put on your clothes and go to work and you got to think that this might be the day that I'm gone. Might be the day. Don't never know. So be sure to tell everybody you love them. Don't let those things go without being said, because it might be all our last day. But all of us ought to get up every morning and thank the good Lord, number one, that we're in the United States of America. Thank the good Lord we live in South Carolina. And thank the good Lord we got the best, best law enforcement officers in this state of any state in the United States. And I'm here to say thank you.